This is Got the Fix It Guide. Today we're dealing with a Kenmore or Whirlpool direct drive washer that's leaking. So this is almost always due to a faulty water pump. So we're going to unplug it and we're going to take off the console. We removed two Phillips head screws and we're just going to lean it back. We're going to undo this one modular connection. And we're going to take a standard head screwdriver and pry off these brass clamps. Come right off. This is such a neat design. And we're going to lift up on the cabinet about 45 degrees and just pull it toward us. And that takes the cabinet off of the chassis and allows you to get to most of all the components you would need to, to repair the machine. It's a great machine. We're going to clamp off the top hose. That's the water coming from the tub. We're going to use hose clamp pliers. You can just use regular pliers too to remove the hose clamps that are holding onto the water pump. And if you don't have these, um, this clamp, it's okay. Just a little bit of water will come out. You might want to have a towel ready. Oh, so we're I'm just, just going to put on the new water pump. This water pump yeah, just after a while yeah, replacing stopped, it with a new working, one. But it's leaking out the bottom. So there's these two it's been clips for a long time. front that we just pry <laughs> they, off yeah, they using just get a standard head screwdriver. Just pry them up. And then you can pull the water pump right off of the motor shaft. If it's been rusted on there for a while, it might be hard to get off. You have to wiggle it, maybe put a standard head screwdriver behind it to pry it off. This one luckily came right off. So I just had to pull it toward me. So here's the model number, I'm sorry, the part number for the water pump. And you can get these Amazon, you can get them at uh, a lot of places online. It's a very popular washing machine, pretty easy to work on. So I'm just pulling off the lower hose and I'm going to then put that on the new water pump. So the upper um, part of this water pump, the aperture coming out of the pump is, is bigger than the bottom one. Some of these it's the same size, but most of them the top one is bigger when you, when you buy these pumps. So I'm using a standard head screwdriver to loosen up the hose because it's been on there for many years to kind of get it to come off and wiggle it off. There we go. Now I'll put the bigger hose on the top one. Just wiggle that on. Take a look at how we put on these hose clamp pliers. We're going to push down. Again, regular pliers will work too. And then we'll pull the hose clamp back over the hose about maybe a quarter inch from the end. There we go. We look at the old one, we can see where it was leaking right there at the bottom. It should really last about 10 years and then they start to leak. I'm going to position the shaft on the motor uh, so that it has the same shape as the water pump so that I can put that pump back on. i got to line up that shaft correctly. Part of it's round, part of it's flat, and I gotta make sure that matches up to the pump. So I got it back on, and now I'm gonna put the lower clamp back on. I'm gonna pull a little bit, push it back on, take off this hose clamp that was on the upper one, put the top clamp back on, pull it toward me, and push down, and it'll just click in place. Really cool design. And that's pretty much it. We got everything hooked back up. I'm going to straighten out that upper clamp a little bit, make it a little cleaner. There we go. And then we're just going to put the cabinet back on. We're going to lift it up, come in at about 45 degrees, and we're going to line up the bottom of the cabinet with the frame. And then we'll just bring it back to where it's flat. And I'm going to pull the back of the machine toward me. Get them lined up, and then once I have them lined up, I can put those brass clamps back on. Brass clips, really cool design. So I'm just going to catch it underneath the back piece, 
and I'll push down until it clicks. Got to use a bit of force. There we go. And we'll do the left side. Catch it underneath. Push down. And click. There we go. And then we'll put the modular connector there for the lid switch. We're going to lift up a little bit on the console. And then we're going to put these dogs, these plastic pieces, our ears, into the holes in the cabinet. And we're going to push back on the console, plug it in, and give it a test. So we tested it. We couldn't find any leaks. So back to normal. And this pump will last another 10 years. These machines are great. They have, a, they have a reputation of lasting over 20 years of service. They're called Direct Drive Series 70, 80, or 90. Put those screws back in to hold in the console. I wish they still sold these machines, but they no longer do. Probably worth buying a used one. They're so good. So thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe when you get a chance.